Welcome to Skyline Drive. Skyline Drive is a road that wanders through the mountains in Shenandoah National Park in Virginia and, and surrounding states. It's a, it's a wonderful drive. It has all these little pullovers off the main road, which is Skyline Drive. It, it's only one road, really, that wanders through the, the tops of the mountains. And you, you have all these pullovers where they've you know cleared some trees, enough to be able to get some amazing views. Today, uh, the amazing views are a little harder to find because of all the clouds, but if you ask me, it just makes it even more special when you when you have unique weather like this, or unique to me. Fog in the mountains is definitely not something that I see in Delaware. It's that time of year. It's time for fall colors, and you know I want to see what I can capture. And Shenandoah always has a lot to offer, so let's see what she has to offer today. See, the truth is, one of my favorite parts of photography is the chase. It's the days where I'm just spending like this, riding around, seeing what I can see. And, you know, sometimes the stuff comes through on a camera, but sometimes it doesn't. The experience is what makes it so worth it. You know, the time that you spend, whether you're with someone or just by yourself, like myself here, it's the experience. It's seeing the things that you can only see on that day at that time. It's the peace that comes with it. Even though it feels frantic sometimes when you're searching for the photograph, trying to beat the light, the experience when you reflect on it is just so peaceful. I know 3,600 feet doesn't sound like a lot to you know a lot of you guys out there, but for us in the Mid Atlantic in the United States, 3680 is a pretty big deal. Nice little cabin, place where you can stay the night, camp, little store, all that kind of stuff here. The Shenandoah is made up of mile markers, and each mile marker you can get a map and and kind of figure out where you are in Shenandoah, and and there's different hikes and different you know, specialty locations like these cabins and the stores and there's all kinds of little things along the way on, on this stretch called Skyline Drive, along with all these little overlooks that you can, you know, get out and take, get a good view of. And, and in fact, most of them you can pull right up. You don't even have to get out of your car. That's really awesome if you're handicapped. You can just pull up there and really see amazing.
morning, guys. I uh, ended up finding a pullover along Skyline Drive and did a little stealth camping last night. So I uh, set up camp here in my truck. I uh, brought my Jackery um, battery. That guy right there. And I ran a electric blanket all night. You can see how much power it used. It's at 42% now. And it started at 99. But I ran it all night long. And I also was trying out my feathered friend's uh, sleeping bag, which is a 15 degree bag. And uh, it's a good thing I had both of those because it got cold. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the sunroof and it's frozen. I mean, it got real cold. I think it's, yeah, it's 28 degrees, so it got really cold. I went ahead and started the truck up to start letting it warm up. It's about 620. And uh, the reason I did this was so that I would be up here ready for a sunrise if there was gonna be a good one. Uh, last night, you know, chasing the sunset, right at the last second, the clouds started breaking. I was bouncing from from pullover to pullover trying to find some good pictures. And I think I got some decent ones. It was so foggy. It's kind of eerie to pull over at one of these, uh, you know, pullovers and set up a stealth camp. But there were several people that were doing it at several different uh, pullovers, you know, most of them were like sprinter vans. But, um, you know, this worked out perfect for me. It uh, saved me a hotel bill. And, uh, you know, I don't feel for my safety. Uh, you know, I practice my 2A. I'm also a licensed concealed carry, so um, I don't I don't fear for my safety very much when it comes to that kind of thing. Uh, it's still eerie with the fog and you know it, it, up in the mountain. It's dark, um, but I embrace that. I think it's awesome. You know, I think it's a a, a cool experience, and uh, you know it's after you get over that first little. You know, this is a bit edgy this is you know this is it, it becomes cool uh and you know i had a, a view right out my window here it'd be hard to see because the window is uh, frozen up but uh there's you know i don't want to call it a city but there's a town down there and i can I, you know i can see that and uh it's it's just a cool experience and it sets me up for not having to get up out of a hotel or or something and and rush out here uh, to, to make sunrise so I can wake up a little later, enjoy my morning, and if there is a sunrise to be had, I'll get to enjoy it. It says 28 degrees, but with the wind chill, it feels like single digits up here. Look at that view. Sorry for the wind noise. It's hard to get this to come through in, in a video, but it's uh, beautiful. Okay, so uh, as you can hear in the background, it, uh, this was the night that the Braves won the World Series. And I'm not the biggest baseball fan, I guess, during the regular season, but when the playoffs hit, um, I, I don't know, I'm like that with pretty much all sports when the playoffs, except football. I watch football all the way through. Uh, I'm a Washington football fan. and uh, It's usually not real exciting being a Washington football fan, but the the rest of the sports, I just enjoy competition. And uh, I grew up as a Braves fan. You know, I played on the Braves in Little League, and I just, I was a Braves fan. And then somewhere when I was a teenager, uh, I was taken to a Baltimore Orioles as um, an Orioles game, which is my, I guess you could call hometown. I'm from Delaware and Baltimore is just across the bay from us. And I started, you know, rooting for, for Baltimore a little more. But uh, it's it nice. And the Braves haven't won any uh, a World Series or been to a World Series since about that time. And so it was, it was nice following that. And uh, that was kind of exciting. So I did find a pullover that had some, some cell signal. Uh, I was four bars it was just enough to watch the game and that was really awesome uh, but now it's time to find an eastern facing pullover 
uh, on, and I'm going to try to do it on the way back, the way north. Uh, I will say there, there's not a lot of eastern facing pullovers on Skyline Drive. Uh, there's a whole lot of western, and so your sunsets are going to be a lot easier to, easier to capture uh, from different angles. But with sunrise, there's there's nowhere near as many, so you got to be very careful with which one you choose. And typically, what happens with me when I'm up here is I just bounce from one to the other until I really get that nice shot. And uh, you're racing the light is the issue. It's uh, November, so the light, but it's coming up later. It's almost seven o'clock now, and it's still dark. But it is time to start looking for an eastern facing pullover. Thank you. 